Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a work vlog and things have been quite hectic to say the least. I have so many backlogged videos but no time to properly edit them all. So here is my very late third week at Google where I still try my best to navigate the new company culture and structure while trying to create little habits to keep me comfortable in the new environment. Reading is always a habit that I tend to lean back on whenever my mind feels really cluttered and reading in the morning on the way to work really helps to clear my mind and prevent it from overthinking as I can just focus on the task at hand. I've also been trying to find new spaces to work at and on this day I went to the Shuk restaurant, the cafeteria to work as the light was really nice and the view was superb as well. So I just chipped away at my work and that was the end of the first day of the week. I learned how to loosen up All the weight is finally off my shoulders I am more than good enough I believe it now that I am older I just had a meeting and I think my project is finally getting kicked off so I <coughs> I'm preparing the meeting in now and then I'll go for lunch soon It's a Friday and there's barely anyone in office because um, everyone usually works from home on Monday and Friday. I actually do kind of like coming in on Fridays because it's very peaceful, there's barely anyone and it feels like I have the whole place to myself. All the meeting rooms are not booked because no one is in so and I can just sit in the meeting room like this and do my work without anyone disturbing me with this very very gorgeous view 
I have a meeting later at 12 that I need to present on. So right now I'm just preparing for my presentation and yeah, just making sure I don't stumble and screw it up. It's currently 10.42 and I'm going to practice and the meeting's at 12. Usually on other working days, it's really hard to vlog because there's so many people in the office but because it's Friday and there's nobody then it's easier. <laughs> it's easier to vlog. This cardigan from Uniqlo is really comfortable and it's super soft and even after a few washes it's still really soft so it's my favourite cardigan. My meeting is starting in 6 minutes so I'm gonna join in a couple of minutes. few weeks at office but I feel like the clips are all so sporadic. I don't know if the clips will be cohesive. I know I've been saying this a lot but I've been feeling so exhausted. I'm still not used to the new company and like the new routine. Some of the things that I've been doing to try to keep me from burning out is reading. I was actually in a reading slump for about one to two months ever since I went to Jeju. I stopped reading because I felt like I was gonna burn out when I started my new internship. I started reading again so that I feel like I'm taking care of my mind. I like to read when I'm on public transportation because instead of doom scrolling on TikTok or Instagram, I would rather put that energy and time into reading instead. The first book that I finished reading when I started at Google is Days at Morisaki Bookshop. It's a really short novel, it's 147 pages. And I've been seeing this a lot in like Kinokuniya. I would rate this a 3.5 out of 5 because it's not necessarily a showstopper but it was still a really pleasant read and I felt very relaxed reading it because it's told in a slice of life manner. So if you're looking for a short read, I think this would be a really good one. The book that I'm currently reading is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. So far I am kind of almost done with the book and I do not like it because I'm this deep into the book but I have no idea who the suspects are, who the victim is even. The crime has not even taken place. I would much prefer if the action took place in the beginning and then we are solving it with the characters but I guess the author wanted a different style but it's just not working for me. And then There Were None is a perfect mystery book to me. If you want to read any mystery book, you should read that. It's by Agatha Christie. And Someone compared this book to Agatha Christie, a modern Agatha Christie, and I couldn't disagree more. My supervisor at work is actually really into reading as well, so she lent me this book, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. And this book is also on my reading list, so I'm really glad that she lent it to me. I'll be, I'm really excited to start this book, and I'll be starting it after I finish the guest list. I actually also bought a Kindle on Amazon during Prime Day. I got it for $120 and I think the original price is $180. And I really wanted a Kindle because I didn't want to spend money on buying books anymore. I've been borrowing books from the library instead and I didn't want to go through the hassle of finding the books that I want in the library and returning them. Let's unbox 
my Kindle. Yay! Very sleek, very light. This Kindle is the 2022 one and it's 16 gigabytes. I chose this one over the others because it was the cheapest and the discount was really good. I saved $60.